To create your own Google Sites, you are going to go to sites.google.com and on the landing page you will see a template gallery that you can expand and select from a lot of different layouts or you can start all the way from blank. If you are a teacher or a student wanting to create a Google Site, this tutorial should be very helpful for you. So here you're going to see that I just typed a name into a header. I can change an image here. Uh, I can select from something already in Google or I could pick one from my computer. So you can set a background image there. You can change the header type to just have a title, the banner with the image, a larger banner, or it could be a whole cover. If you want to see how your changes are going to look to the viewer, you can click this button here to show the preview. You can preview what it would look like on a computer screen, a tablet screen such as an iPad, or a mobile device. And you can click the X to go back to editing. So once you have the header set how you want it, down in the content area here, you can either go over to the insert option on the right hand side and begin adding items from there or you can double click here and click any of these options image, upload, drive, or embed. The other option here would be to click the text option and you can insert whatever text you would like. So if you're a teacher you just want to introduce your website to your students, type whatever you wish here. You can change the style of the text, um, the fonts here. You can always go in and click next to any fonts you want to add to the selection. And then you can change it here. Change the size. So you can tweak the font however you wish. Here you can change the alignment. Uh, you can also resize the boxes. And you can drag it around. Once those four arrows turn like that, uh, that means you can drag the edge of the box. So that's a little bit tricky sometimes. If you're wanting to make the box bigger, you can just go to the little dots there to expand that. Okay, and then here you can see I'm trying to center it and it shows you these margins on the side to show you that it's equal. If you want to add something from your drive, you can go to insert and drive or double click here, go to drive. You can insert any type of file that you wish from your Google onto your website for your students. Or if you want to scroll down on the right hand panel and let's say you know you want to insert a form, you can just filter it to your Google Forms. So if I had, let's say, an exam that I wanted to put on my website for my students, I could insert the Google Form and the blue box around it shows you the size of it. So you can change that around, center it, get it how you want it to look, okay? And again, to see how your students are going to view it, you can always go back and click this preview button uh, to see how this is going to look on their behalf. On this Google Form, uh, if I want the background to be different than white, you can see on the left hand side here something that says section background, and I can change it to a different color. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can add to your website that is very helpful for teachers is Google Slides. So any presentation that I have that I want my students to see, instead of having to email it to them, uh, I can just embed it straight on my page here. And when they go to preview it, they don't even have to open it in Google Slides if they don't want. They could view it right here on this page. This is their mobile view a tablet view, or a computer view. One of the next key pieces to Google Sites is creating pages. So I can add a new page, 
and under the advanced option you can add uh, custom paths not something that most teachers really need to use so I'm going to add an about me page uh, assignments anything else you want to add here if you want to layer these as sub pages you can see here on the preview they're coming across the top but if you wanted one to be nested under the other you can click those three little dots um, and you can click add sub page and under assignments I could add PE because many teachers teach more than one subject and then I could add computer tech and then my students would be able to hover and see those two options there at the top. Uh, another option is to add a direct link. So maybe you had a YouTube channel that you wanted to add a link to. You could put it there um, and it would go directly to that for them. Once you have added all of the pages that you wanted to create, another option that you may like to do, or if you delete if you need to delete one, see I have one that says Untitled Page. I want to get rid of that. Once you've added all the pages here and you have everything lined up how you want it, you can duplicate a page if that makes it easier for you. If the pages will be similar, uh, you can always use this Settings button here. Once you have all these pages set and have everything inserted on them that you want, under the Themes, here you can change the background colors that are going to show up or the font styles that you'll see. There are several different options here to play around with. You can also uh, do custom colors. So you can see the hex value changing there. However you wanted to customize that. When it comes time to um, publishing this, you do not want to publish until you are certain you're ready for your students to see it. Um, so before I publish, I always like to check these settings and make sure I have everything how I want it. So at the top, like on my navigation bar, you can have it as black, transparent, or white. I can have it on the top or on the side. Okay, so that's going to be a personal preference. Brand images. If you had a logo or a Bitmoji that you like to use with your students, this is a nice place to upload that so it would show up on your web page. So you can upload directly from your computer for this. If you had the logo saved there and the other option is going to be to select it from images already in Google so I'm going to grab one of my bitmojis here that I had downloaded to my computer and I'm going to use that as my website logo so now you'll see that my little logo the little basketball bitmoji person here shows up there all right, and I can change the alt text that would show up for people uh, who might have screen readers. And then the favicon is another uh, option that you can do. So this time I'm going to select something from Google Drive. And let's go with this little dinosaur. All right, so now I have a favicon and a logo. And if we want to see how this is going to look to the viewer with our logo and our favicon, you can still see my logo here. And the favicon, once we publish it, it will show up at the top of the tabs in Google where you see the little Google Sites logo. It will change to our favicon of the little dinosaur. So back to the settings. Viewer tools, these are just things you can change here. Um, custom domain, if you bought your own domain that you did not want it to say sites.google.misswoods webpage, you could purchase your own domain. Um, the viewer tools, I recommend leaving both of these toggled on. Analytics, you're not really going to use this unless you are a business. This would show you how you've recruited your viewers, the people looking at your website, um, so for a teacher website, I don't recommend enabling this. And an announcement banner, this is something that if you go to a website and something pops up at the front, like uh, we need you to accept the cookies, or our restaurant is temporarily closed, for a teacher website, a lot of times I'll turn this on and 
<clears throat> I'll have a little message like, students, please be sure you are using your Chromebook to view this website or something like that. So you can type a message here. Um, you can change the banner color of it. Okay, anything that you want to add here, it can be a link that they would open. Totally your preference. So once you have all of this set how you want it, you can go to publish. And then I'm going to say Coach Woods website. And it will tell me if this is available or not. Yes, it is. So my domain is going to be sites.google and then Coach Woods website. You can set this to where anyone can view it or you can change it um, <clears throat> however you wish here to be just within your domain at your school. Again, that's your preference. And you can click here if you don't want your website to show up when people do just a Google search. All right, then you'll publish your website. It's important to note that any changes you make to your website after publishing, you will need to republish it. Now that we have published our website, you will notice that the favicon of the little dinosaur that we uploaded does show up at the top here now that we've published it. Formerly, it was the little purple Google Sites favicon. So when you upload to that favicon option, this is what changes. I hope that you have found this video helpful today. If you have, please give me a thumbs up in the box below. Thank you so much.